Hi everybody, my name is John Bonner. Welcome to Great Lakes Growers. Uh, Great Lakes Growers is located in Burton, Ohio, which many of you might know is located in Northeast Ohio. Uh, Northeast Ohio is uh, notorious for long winters, uh, cold weather, lots of snow, lots of cloudiness, which is not ideal when you're trying to grow beautiful leafy greens and herbs and other vegetables. So, in order to combat the climate in which we're located in, we've invested heavily in uh, climate control systems. Specifically, there's four or five different systems that contribute to the quality of environment our plants grow in. The goal here is to replicate uh, the highest quality environment for the, that the plant would need to grow in perfectly. So, one particular uh, environmental control system is obviously heating and cooling. Uh, we want to maintain the optimal temperature for the plant at all times. Humidity is also a huge consideration when thinking about how a plant grows every day. So we've got different systems for allowing humidity to evacuate through the roof or adding humidity through, uh, through putting moisture into the air. Lighting is also a major consideration here at Great Lakes Growers. As mentioned before, we're located in Northeast Ohio, directly in the snow belt. So replicating the quality and uh, amount of sunlight that a plant would receive, say normally in summertime, is, is very challenging. We've made an investment in LED lighting fixtures, which are the most advanced fixtures in the world for replicating that uh, uh, important element of growth. Also, being located in Burton, Ohio, and the cold temperatures every winter, and also the sunny summers that we have, we needed a system uh, that could combat both of those equally. So what we did is we installed what's called energy curtains, or shading curtains, on the roof of the greenhouse. The energy curtain closes at night in cold, cold temperatures to reduce our energy bill and also keep the plants at the optimal temperature. In the summertime, the shade curtain closes to shade the plant from uh, too much sunlight uh, in the event that that plant does not want that much sunlight. One of the most important parts of photosynthesis or plant growth is obviously irrigation. And it's not only the amount of irrigation, but what's in the water. So we've got a, a very complex system that not only regulates the amount of water or puts the plants on an irrigation timer regulating how much water they get every day. We've also got a system in place that monitors the quality of the water, the pH level of the water, or how much nutrition is in the water so we can meter it to the plant evenly. And the end result, of having an automated computer controlled irrigation system is amazing consistency and amazing quality throughout the different growing seasons. So all of these systems put together make for a very complex operation. Uh, 10 years ago, it probably wasn't even possible to run an operation with this many different things going on. And quite frankly, it was probably impossible to uh, cost effectively grow this type of uh, crop uh, and deliver to the consumer at a price that's reasonable. Technology is changing at an amazing rate nowadays. So I've mentioned all the different systems that we have in the greenhouse, but it all comes together with an environmental control system or software uh, called Priva. Uh, Priva is very dynamic, it's very powerful, and it keeps track of all these different variables and from user input, myself as the grower, uh, can, can tell the greenhouse uh, what we want, what temperatures we want, what humidities we want, what nutrition levels we need, what lighting levels are acceptable. And all of that software and all of that information is run at my fingertips on our uh, smartphones. If there's ever a problem in the greenhouse, the greenhouse calls my smartphone and I know I, need, I can call into the facility and see if there's a problem. And nine times out of 10, the problem can be fixed remotely, but sometimes you have to come in and fix a pump. So the totality of everything that we've talked about here today is that technology is moving at an amazing rate and it's allowing us to deliver some of the freshest, uh, highest quality produce possible in a locally grown environment.